Sometimes you just don't drink the Kool-Aid. Trust me. All right, we have two videos in one day. Kind of strange. So I got the front clip off of the old 48 Ford. This is what we got. <clears throat> so as you can tell, the engine sits really high, which is probably why transmission is going to end up, you know, three quarters into the floor. So I'm going to have to lower the engine. I got that figured out already. It's not going to be able to go down a lot, but a couple inches, because right now it's just not right. And I got six tons of room to move it back, so we're going to do that. Of course, when I got to this side, it got even better. The nut, I already took the nut off, but the nut was just finger tight in the back of that motor mount. And the motor mount's all just kind of... At least this side's on there. The other side's not even on the frame. It's just kind of resting there with a lot of crappy welds. <clears throat> then you got this guy here. Uh, I knew the bolt was, you know, messed up, but it's not even on there. It's just, just about got the threads or the spline stripped out of it. This bolt is just finger tight. Looks like the head must have broke off. That's scary. There's no front cross member in this frame. They must have chopped that out. So now the steering box is all off of that frame horn, which is letting it, you know, it's it's pushing that frame horn back and forth as you're trying to steer it, especially if you're not moving the car. That generates a lot of torque here. So I'm gonna have to make a cross member and tie that frame in so that front frame horn ain't, you know, moving like in you know, a noodle going down the road. This is all that was holding the front uh, front end on the body. Just two hunks of metal tab. And for the most part, it was just resting on the frame. And there's only three and a half bolts holding it to the back. And I think th these two are good, and there's one on the other side and one that was just finger tight. So... Every time I get a little bit more into this car, it just gets worse and worse. Kind of scary. It's scary to think people are driving it. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, some booger weld. That's neat. I think that held the bumper on at one time. But I got a lot of room here to bring it down before it even gets close to the cross member. But, and I'm probably gonna move it back, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna notch out the frame clear the fuel pump. I've done that before. That's not a big deal. But we'll see. I gotta get this thing out, grind up the frame, and then uh, set it back in there and start over. So that's where I'm at. There's one of my front body mounts. Now I can see it from up here. Nothing too fancy. Just a hunk of box tubing and a plate in the top and a hunk of rubber. But, uh, yep, that's where we're at. So, later.